Without rent, we humans would not exist. Rent is what it took for our ancestors to evolve out of nature. We are rent, four letters, R-E-N-T. Rent made the difference between the world of the chimpanzees and what became Homo sapiens. Rent is the living tissue of our humanity. But this rent is not what we pay to hire a car or an apartment. What makes land and the rent we pay to use it so important? A nation's income falls into three categories. First, wages and salaries. Levels may vary across the country, but over time they are equalized as people migrate. The same happens with interest paid for the use of our savings and for the profits earned from man-made capital. Capital also migrates to places or new uses that yield the highest profits, but competition equalizes the rate of return. After deducting wages and profits, the rest of a nation's income is rent. Rent is unique. It is created by the dynamic interaction of three factors. Nature contributes fertile land and minerals and resources like the radio spectrum that we use for our cell phones. Society, through our communities, builds highways and schools and hires policemen. These add to the attractions of each locality. And every one of us adds to rent by working as teachers or firemen, artists or scientists, or by working in businesses that produce the goods and services we all need. These three merge to create the economic rent of land. Humans originated as a branch of the primate family. We share 99% of our DNA with chimpanzees. Our earliest ancestors were the hominins, they lived in forests before venturing into the savanna grasslands of Africa. But exactly how they turned themselves into human species has remained a mystery. In the 1930s, an Australian anthropologist, Gordon Child, wrote a book called Man Makes Himself. But he did not unravel the secret of how our ancestors achieved this astonishing feat. That evolutionary story, the great escape from nature, can now be told. The first clues were discovered by Jane Goodall, a primatologist who went to Africa in the 1950s. She noticed that chimpanzees used twigs to tease termites out of the ground. Over the course of a million years, the creatures who became humans went one giant step further they began to develop a unique evolutionary blueprint. Originally, like chimpanzees, the hominins swung through the trees. They used rocks to crack nuts, to extract the nutritious nuts. And they prodded twigs into holes in the ground to extract the creepy crawlies for juicy protein. And like the chimpanzees, when their stomachs were full, they sat back and basked in the sun picking the lice out of furry coats. But then our ancestors began to change their behavior. They discovered one of the secrets of nature. Instead of sitting back and resting once their stomachs were full, they worked a little longer. With the extra resources, they began to make tools. Stones became hammers. Sticks became arrows that they could shoot through the air. With those tools, they increased their productivity. They invested part of the extra flow of energy in their bodies. They reshaped their jaws to get a stronger bite. It was the same with their posture. They reshaped their legs so that they could stand upright and run across the savanna grasslands. And they invested energy to enlarge their skulls to create more room for larger brains. That word invested is crucial. Genetic evolution would not have happened if they had not pooled those extra resources we call rent. The flow of energy was pooled for the common good of our species. But this evolutionary journey was only possible because our ancestors made sure that they did not cheat each other. No free riding 
on other people's backs. Everyone worked to produce the rent that in, they invested in their bodies, their minds, their communities. All of this became possible because our earliest ancestors cracked the code of one of nature's laws, the second law of thermodynamics. I explain the significance of that discovery in my book, hashtag we are rent. But just as we are starting to understand what it really took to make us human, our species faces mortal peril. A mounting series of existential crises threatens all our futures. What would happen if we were prevented from producing rent? What if rent we produced was no longer pooled for the common good? What would happen to humanity? I answer those questions in hashtag WeAreRent. <laughs>